Hello, guys. Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's reset, boys, we have got the brand new exotic quest in the game. It is called Exotic Quest. It is going to be for the brand new bow. We have got the brand new exotic quest in the game. It is going to be for the brand new bow, boys. It's going to be glorious. Now, I will say, disclaimer is obviously there's going to be spoilers in this. I don't know why you clicked it otherwise, but also how you will, of course, stay in this new freaking combat bow, which is going to be the Wish Keeper. It's actually tied into the story now. So you have to have the Season of the Wish kind of campaign going. You have to like be caught up. This isn't like some random quest. You're like it's side off from the story. This is actually built into the story. And I will say it's a pretty hard mission. But this Wish Keeper itself, this thing is a beautiful looking bow. I mean, look at it. It's a bit zoomed out, but oh, baby, they are hitting it out with the aesthetics. It looks so dope. It will, of course, be craftable too with patterns and everything. So you can get your first pattern. The thing about this is that you are going to be locked out of the patterns for a few weeks. It's sort of like the Revision Zero, where each week you can do, of course, a new kind of mission of it. You can keep doing that at higher difficulties, and you'll keep getting cat uh, patterns for this weapon and everything. So not real catalyst, but it's going to be kind of time-gated for patterns each week and everything. But this is going to be the first one you will get in the Wish Keeper, as I said. It looks dope. Intrinsically, it's going to have the perk Snare Weaver. Precision hits and final blows build energy towards a Snare Weaver arrow that can be fired from the hip. On impact, Snare Weaver arrows create a pattern of traps that suspend nearby targets. So honestly, this will be a really good suspend, suspend sort of weapon. So imagine, of course, unstoppable by our bows and being able to suspend as well. It's also going to have the trait Silkbound Slayer. So this weapon deals bonus damage to suspend the targets. Gain faster draw time for a short duration when you suspend the target from any source or damage to suspend the target with this weapon. So again, it's all about suspending with this. And that's probably why Bungie did nerf suspension. So like you can't really do as much with suspending anymore. It's going to be nasty. And that's what we're going to be going in with our Titan. You can see it looks beefy in his hands. But of course, Strand Titan is pretty much the meta PvE right now. And we're going to showcase what this is like in both PvP and some PvE. It should be really, really dope. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Wish Keeper bow. Alrighty, so we are going to be on Pacifica of all maps with, of course, our Wish Keeper bow itself. And this is what it's going to look like and everything. And when I say it looks juicy, it really does. I mean, the freaking bow as well, being a strand like freaking arrow is really nice. But you'll see, of course, you can hit headshots with this and there's the wish keeper against me but the way this is gonna work of course is that it's kind of like a precision frame now it does have a little bit of an extra draw time compared to the precisions but basically if you hit a headshot with this you'll see down the bottom left you can get the charge going and oh my god i'm one hp but you can see from a one charge uh from one headshot you get of course one charge in pvp and then a kill will give you the extra two and then obviously the one of you that shot if you get like a full kill you can basically charge this up and then when you kind of get it going you will get the snare reaver arrow which if I actually hit someone like this, you will suspend them like so, and it can be really good. <laughs> of course, you're still going to have to one-tap Diana. We'll stay here for a while, so if someone hits that again, they will be suspended. So if you think of things like trolls, capping points, people um, sitting, just capping points in general, people playing control, it could be really dope to kind of get people just up in the air suspended because obviously they can't ADS, you can just blast them. It's actually a really cool weapon. I think that this is going to be a really kind of niche weapon, but oh, okay, he's just freaking AFK. I think it's a niche weapon, but I do think that this will go in really, really well in certain builds and certain freaking scenarios. Instead, trolls is definitely going to be one. But you can kind of see that these are all going to be over here, and we're going to set our... Oh, I don't have the stair going. Oh, no! I was one off, and I got it, and then I got one up by Torn. I will say, though, as well, that it is a good bow and everything, but you can see no scopes are going to be great, too. When you get kills, it will charge it, but... It's going to be a precision frame, so it's going to be up to if you want to use this over something like, of course, Wish Ender, but... It's definitely more situational. I think Wish Ender might be a little bit better if you want to could obviously get ball hacks and everything, which would be a little bit more, um, say, more bang for your book, if anything. But I will say this feels juicy and the draw time is a little bit better. And I just think that this is an absolute utility weapon. PvP, I do think it will just go in and right build. And if you get like a whole team running at them, it's like basically charging up a freaking uh, shock grenade. That's the best way of looking at it with the system. And this guy, and oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh my god, he went to freaking Thunder Crash. Oh, I'd say he's so mad, buddy. Jump again. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to go for it. He was always going to jump. We traded the shot, but I had to do it. I do think this is really sticky, too. I know the charge time is a little bit more than usual, but I honestly do think this is a pretty sticky-ass bow. Yeah, there's a guy with SMG here. and Oh, okay. He's zooming right now. Oh, Machacho behind us, though. Boy, he's going to peek. There we go. There's the headshot. And you can kind of see that you will get the charge basically every time you get a headshot now. I will say, obviously, you want to be getting kills with this to kind of charge it. Oh, we get the dome skin him. And there's a double freaking dome. But you do want to, of course, get kills to kind of charge as much as you can. But I do think this is a really dope weapon now. We are kind of slaughtering these. So this is probably going to be a GG in a sec. I'll probably just have to do rumble or something. But I do think that this way, uh, Wish Keeper. 
I think it's a banger of a bow. Is it going to be the absolute meta? I think that certain people might run it instead of, of course, uh, Wish Ender. But I do definitely think that um, it's going to be super situational. But if you want aesthetic weapons, I mean, look no further. This thing looks so dope here, though. Anyone here? Hello? Oh, he's AFK. Give me the freaking Snare Weaver. <laughs> give me the Snare Weaver, please. Just give it to me so I can actually, uh, what's it called, suspend somebody. That's the other thing. Imagine like a thunder crash or something's coming at your ass and you have this freaking snare weaver going. It will be just really good. Now, oh, okay. I was going to say, if I don't get him, I'm going to be pissed. And oh, there was two of them. I think I actually suspended. Oh, he got suspended again. Man, it's actually pretty nice. It seems to have pretty damn good range. You see, I suspended one, he ran away, and then he got resuspended. It does stay. Like, it's not like it disappears after someone gets suspended. I think it could be absolutely nasty. I do. I will say, though, PV, uh, PVE is where you're going to see the best sort of thing on this, but... Oh my god, I think this is beautiful PvP. Oh, we got this guy though. Give me the double headshot, boys. No oh, freaking mask of barracks. Oh, the Domsky though. Oh, give me the kill. Come on, you want to peek it? Give me. There we go. <laughs> oh, I got the snare weaver going. Actually, take the snare weaver, boys. Take it. Actually, send me across. Oh, there's no one here. Oh my no! I thought he was actually gonna stay there. What a waste of a snare weaver. But as I said, it's pretty good how it goes. It tries to do a pentagon shape. If it obviously if the if the map is kind of I'd say blocking it, it won't do exactly the full pentagon, but I do think that honestly, this is just a really cool last bow. I think it's one of the more unique exotic stuff Bungie have brought out in a while. Now, buddy, you're one HP. No, no, no! Freaking stupid ass! Look at the bow and his stupid stag head! Oh, the freaking Icarus down dash, whatever it's called. All right, boys, some headshots will be freaking nice. Some headshots, and there's a Domsky. He is lagging his little tits off, though. Oh, there's the body shot. And as I said, it is going to be somewhat precision frame, so you can kind of get away with hitting a headshot into a body shot. That will do work as well. And of course, I will say you can't actually use a snare, uh, snare weaver. I forgot to tell you that. Unless you fully charge it. So you've got to actually get it to the, uh, the six kind of bolts. As I said, if you hit your headshots, this thing can be an absolute master cost. Now, I wonder if it disappears. It actually stays. Oh my God. I didn't mean to do that. Good. Good. Get them, boys. Get them. Get them. Get down here. Oh my God. I didn't even hit them. Uh, anyone want to come over to me? I've got my freaking Blade Fury or Fury Blades. And ah, there's just no one here. But he, he's just hiding behind a wall. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, give me a banner of war. Oh my god, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. I did I miss him? Uh, I don't know how this game lasts for so long because we legit just been absolutely dominating these. But I will say Wish, uh, Wish Keeper. I do really like your PvP. It's definitely going to be a situational bow. I said, it's not going to be anything where I'm like, oh my god, you have to be using this right now. Because there is going to be times where um, Wish Ender will be just probably like more kind of better bow to kind of go in with. Now, where is this guy gone? What the? Where is this guy? What the? Hello? <laughs> well, Wish Ender might be a bit like, of course, more bang for your book. So you shoot, then you, of course, switch and everything. But as I said, in the right build and the right kind of team comp. This thing could go in. Alrighty, so we are, of course, going to do our Nightfall with a little strand weapon that could and everything. Just to kind of showcase what this is going to be like PvP. And, of course, in P or PvE. And in PvE, I mean, I missed, like, every headshot. But in PvE, of course, you'll get the Snare Weaver going. A lot more consistent. And that's where this is going to probably be at its best. Because, obviously, if I do something like this, everything should start getting suspended now. And with the right, as I said, strand build, of course, you will get Tangles and everything. You start getting Banner of War going. And... It's just going to be a really good compliment to a good strand build, as I said. Of course, oh, I forgot that the Axe Lake of Shadows, and I forgot that the, uh, yeah, they made this freaking long. And, oh, I've got sidearm, boys. I've got sidearm. Don't worry. I've got it. <laughs> but obviously, it will be great against sort of barrier champs. You'll see getting your dome skis in will give you one in PvE as well. Of course, getting kills is what you want to be going for, but being able to kind of just spam out the shots is honestly just really, really handy with it. And as I said, oh, there's the unstoppable, so we do something like this. Oh, there's the suspense. And oh, I've got a freaking sword on. Oh, that's not what we wanted to deal with freaking barriers, boys. But we'll get them anyway. <laughs> but that's where, of course, it's going to come in clutch. Now, I do understand bows right now are bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're unstoppables. So when it comes to mods and everything, you might not need to use this. But you can kind of tell that it's going to be really nice just for certain uh, port nightfalls and everything like that. Especially if they're all going to be out here like this. You start suspending. I just think that it's a really, really dope weapon. I think PvE is going to go in so freaking well. I will definitely say... It's sort of like a weird ass strand verglass curve. But I do think it's really dope. It's that one precision sort of hit. Now, can I get this precision? There we go. I'm gonna do this. And everything starts suspending. And the other thing I will say about it is that with the, uh, with the, of course, on a strand build, I get basically extra energy or whatnot every time I get a freaking suspend hit or a freaking suspend kill. So when you're using something like this, 
It means that you can constantly get that suspend going. If I threw on the Dranger's Lash as well, and of course, they're using my wall to suspend things. I could have suspend nearly going all the time, because of course, when I kill suspended enemies with certain uh, fragments, I of course get class ability energy. When I use my class ability, I of course get what's it called, the uh, suspends going as well. So there is a ton of ways to kind of get this going. I pray you have to actually activate this. I will say too, is that this isn't even it in its final form. If you do get this weapon, you can actually see what the crafting is going to be like in this. And you get things like hatching, you can get extra perks on this that will increase, of course, the snare in terms of handling targets and snares, durations and whatnot. There's a ton of different things you can kind of do with this. As I said, though, I have got the mod on that will be unstoppable. So you can do stuff like this. You want to do unstoppables. And then, of course, I've got my Dranger's Lat or the freaking thing going. So now I just suspended them as well. As I said, there's a ton of different things you can kind of do with this. And as I said as well, this will constantly suspend. So it's not just like a once off sort of thing. As long as they're in that snare or as long as they're in, of course, the... Um... Oh, give me the kill. Give me the kill. Oh, I need the freaking at least this. Thank you. But as long as you hit them, of course, into the uh, snare or you put them in the trap, you will constantly suspend for a little while, which, as I said, is going to be really, really dope. Now, I need to get rid of this real quick. Wish Ender definitely hits a little bit harder, but the draw time is, of course, longer on that one. But I do think that this is just... It's so freaking sweet. As I said, you just get so much kind of going for it. Now, we'll do this. And don't worry, boys. We got some. Suspend them again, buddy. Okay, we will not. <laughs> but I'm telling you. Oh, this is such a good bow PvE. This is legit gotta be so good and i think someone else is using it because i didn't pop that did i maybe i did i have freaking no idea a uh, couple muchachos here though so we'll suspend them all give me that freaking energy and there we go <laughs> it's so good and the great thing about it is that it constantly suspends you'll see you can legit keep on hitting people and one of the really nice things kind of about it is that um you can keep on getting your charges back so even when you use the snare weaver it's not like it's on a cooldown or anything you can instantly start getting your charges again which as I said, it's just going to be really nice. Now, I wonder if I can actually suspend the freaking meatball. Can I get the meatball going? There we go. I wonder if I can hit him with it. Would it suspend? I don't think I can suspend the ball. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. But you can kind of see that it will still be really nice. And of course, as I said, on a way, what's called the super, where it's got actually like a basically a meta sort of subclass. You will do, of course, work now. Of course, I've got the Banner War going for four and a Sinter Step, so I should be doing some decent-ass damage. I've actually kind of forgotten how freaking long this strike is now since they've changed everything. Don't worry, boys. I've got some. And, oh, you won't stop them. Okay, we'll get this going, though. No way he gets to stop it again, boys. Oh, my freaking snare was a waste of time, buddy. What are you doing to me? But, yeah, as I said, this is just going to be such a dope-ass weapon. I just think that utility-wise, like, you can see everything just kind of gets snared. And this, is I said... Isn't even it in its final form. You can get things, of course, because it's a strong weapon. Oh, get these all suspended. Well, because this is going to be a strong weapon as well, you will, of course, be able to kind of get this uh, going with... Oh, suspend them. Suspend them. There we go. Look, barrier champs, freaking unstoppables. It doesn't matter what we come up against. It will work. But, of course, yeah, this will uh, be able to get the sever kind of going, especially if you have certain builds and set going on. Freaking, you want hatching on this. Apparently, that is going to be one of the freaking traits on it. So, I just think overall, this is going to be a banger about pvp pve it's just one of these weapons that but all the craftable freaking exotics have seemed to always been good vex caliber maybe was a little bit of a meme but the mission was goaded so i'll freaking take that but we got freaking striga we got the revision zero they've all had some mad freaking utility that was just so cool to kind of go in with now boys i'm getting treasured on the one final boss in this game boys it's always the big ass treasures but as I said, too, it's not just, of course, about the utility and everything that's on this. This honestly feels pretty incredible, too. As I said, the damage is going to be nice off the ground, but it's actually a really smooth-feeling bow. It kind of reminds me a little bit about maybe something like um, Lemon Arc in terms of the speed of you can shoot at. Obviously, that's kind of like a lightweight frame now and everything, but the original Lemon Arc before it got changed around, it kind of feels like that in terms of speed and everything. It's definitely not as slow as Wish Ender. Wish Ender takes legit a whole freaking country mile to freaking pull back. My man is legit reefing the string out of it to actually do the freaking, what's it called, the, uh, the Wish Ender. But as I said, it's just a really sweet ass feeling weapon. It can do damage too, of course, but it's just so much going for it. I mean, this is legit it before it hits its final form, as I said. Alrighty, final boss time, of course, with our Wish Keeper itself, though. And, of course, we're going to get the Suspend going. Suspend them both, boys. Oh, look at that go. Look at it go. It's just so good utility-wise. It's it's pretty much the reason they probably suspended uh, or freaking nerf suspended or suspensions because the like, uptime suspensions with this build is honestly quite high. I mean, I pretty much have it going nearly 100% of the time. As I said, when you get to suspend, you can basically start getting it going again. Now, Midonsky. Give me Donsky. 
Give me a dome ski, Mike. Can I not hit a headshot to save my freaking life? There we go. We'll try to spam this guy. I don't think we will be able to. But yeah, as I said, it is just really nice, especially with things like void debuffs, or not void, but strand debuffs, and of course stasis debuffs. Doing work in terms of extra damage and everything, if you do, of course, hit them with a debuff. It means that things like slice and suspensions will actually do a lot of work for you. So yeah, I just think overall, this is just going to be a really dope-ass weapon. I mean, the boss got wasted faster than the freaking whole strike. What is this, Bungie? <laughs> Why would you make the strike a million times longer and then have the boss at the same HP? Or the boss at the same HP? But this is going to, of course, be the Wish uh, and our Keeper in some PvE. Oh, we got the new grenade launcher as well. It's gone to the vault. Well, that is it for me. And, of course, the Wish Keeper bow itself. As I said, this is just aesthetically an absolute banger. I mean, look at this thing. But also... Freaking utility wise, it's an absolute dream. You see it in PvP as well. It can do work. It is definitely going to be more of a, I'd say, kind of a util use kind of bow. And if you're going to go with exotic bows, especially in the top slot, Wish Ender is still there. Um, obviously, Wahax is insane. You do so much more damage too. But this is how good util, as I said, if you got to get the Snare Weaver kind of going, it's like five headshots and, of course, two kills or whatever, or killing a headshot. So you can kind of get it going pretty easily in PvP, which is nice. It would have been sucked if it took ages to kind of proc. But then when it comes to PvE, of course, this thing's an absolute king. This is just a spend absolute machine. In a good strong build, of course, I wasn't really specking into it too much. But in a, like a, a full-on strong build where suspensions are everything, this will go in really, really well. Of course, it's going to be based off the activity you're kind of doing. If you want to deal with unstoppables and overloads, this could be really dope. Not just because unstoppable bows are mods this season, but of course, Snare, we or Snare Weaver will be great for unstoppables and everything. And then when it comes to barrier piercing, you might want to go with the Wish Ender and those via uh, Nightfalls and whatnot. But I do think overall, the Wish Keeper combat bow, this is an absolute banger. But I will definitely say overall, 100% Wish Keeper, this is an absolute banger and it's just beautiful. I mean, what is not to love about this? This does have a, actually have an ornament too that we can quickly show. I mean, what is not to like? This thing is just an absolute freaking beast. Regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. I'd want to see more content. Subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.